Alright, so we're over here. We're going to do the Mitch Baker missions. Uh, he's in the downtown area still, so go to the map. He's the speed icon when it comes up. And as you can see, this is our downtown. I think cutoff is right around here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so basically, you have to do the first Love Fist mission in order to open up the Mitch Baker missions. And then we have to do the Mitch Baker missions before you can do the last Love This mission. So here we go with the Mitch Baker missions, uh, number one. Where's Baker? I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Versetti. Versetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar! Zeppelin! Go see how this girl handles a bike. The base is this a race, so we'll take uh, one of the angels here. So these bikes are, uh, they, they tend to slide a lot, All right, fans, especially when you're trying to you stop and they slide for long ways. Uh, so really, the kind of the trick to these is those guys will wipe out all on their own. Um, you know, on the straights and stuff, you everybody's, you know, trying to slow down for the corners a bit before you get into them. Pick your corner, goose it, slow down for the next corner. Actually, you'll see, these bikes are actually terrible for handling. Uh, the freeway man, it doesn't handle it much better than either. Oh, lovely. As you can see, though, they did make this race pretty easy to do. Just go right into number two. <coughs> Got you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I going to have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's going to sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. 
This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during Nam Ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. Oh, what the heck, might as well just grab one of these ones. And this one here, he's got to create chaos. Uh, the easiest way to do it is just to shoot a bunch of cars, shoot people, kind of thing. A uh, nice single motorbike, you can shoot out the front while you're driving. Uh, but once you get the cops after you, then... Uh, yeah. The motorbike ain't a very good choice, obviously, right? I usually, once I do, once I get the cops after me, they just start to uh, come out in the field here where I keep myself getting run over from them and, you know, just start taking the police out. Uh, if it starts getting too heavy on you, then I would suggest going to heavier gun, like using the uh, mini gun. Uh, like I'm gonna do on this helicopter here, just because I can. That's all there is to that mission. Pass. Uh, of course, though, this mission leaves you with all the wanted stars, so you have to <laughs> go and take care of them. This might be a little tough to do on the bike, especially one that doesn't handle all that green. Definitely try and get down to the paint shop or the pee and spray down here. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, that's what I need about the bike. <laughs> Once it starts to slide, you don't like to stop. Lisa Mater. And I'm so sure I said it before, but uh, as long as those stars are flashing, that means if you run somebody over, kill someone, uh, they'll all come back again. So you gotta make sure that uh, you, know, you don't hit nothing until they're all gone. Alright, so we've done mission number two. Uh, before we do three, I was gonna show you guys just around the corner here, there's a uh, a safe spot that I wanted to show. Uh, so also there's a gun pickup pick up here. Uh, that gun there will replace the Mac 5 and the Mac 5 will replace this one and I'm not sure exactly which one that is. But anyways up here is where the save is. By the property. And if you're interested in doing the game, 100% uh, of the game, if I remember correctly, that uh, you have to buy all the all the places in the game. And so this would be one of them that's included in that list. All right, so uh, we're just going to go back and do mission number three here now for the computer. It ain't badass for Seti. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, and you can tell Paul he's got his security. 
Come on. Come on, come on. Alright, so good one to use here. Of course, obviously, you could use one of the freeways. Um, but I would suggest using the uh, PCJ, which is. Yeah, once you're done with this, it's right across the street here. It's right up here. Oh, I didn't mean to not feel me down here. And I don't know why it is in this one, but that is glass there. Uh, the original version, when you shoot it, you see the glass break and it, it disappears. But on this one, you hear it break, but it's still there. Alright, so, and then the stairs that they were showing there that we have to jump is uh, down along here. Just on the sidewalk there. It's up here at the end there. You can see it there starting to show up now. And of course that is one of the stunt jumps that you have to do, which is completed. So, uh, again, good one here is just have again a lot of ammo, because uh, there's a lot of guys in here. That uh, the easiest thing to do, if you start to hop off the bike and start to fight the guys, uh, they just keep spawning more and more and more, and it just gets harder and harder to do it. So the best bet is just to go in there, shoot a couple guys on your way to the bike, grab his bike, and just get the hell out of there. Now as you come off of this, there'll be a van that comes there. He is there, comes after you. Ouch! Yeah, this ain't gonna be good. Ooh, there's another van come after us there. Get on the bike, get going here. Pretty low on stars. Could actually. Uh, don't have to, but. Because uh, we have this safe house, what you could do. Because uh, my armor's at 44. Ride the bike in here. So. So this way you keep the bike with you, don't lose it, right? And we'll grab this armor. I don't know, we'll go back out. <laughs> so basically you just have to take the bike back to Mitch. Um, which is back to the bar that they hang out at. And that ends the missions for Mitch Baker. And so now we can go do oh, Sucker. Now we can go do the, uh, oh well, take your van too, why not, eh? Uh, now you can do the last mission for, uh, Love Fits. Which I get a little save, and then be back for doing that mission.